even though there is a slim chance of every Sigma woman hooking up with a Sigma man, when this probability does occur and the two meet, like each other and eventually fall in love, their affection for each other in terms of Sigma energy is supposedly 10 times stronger than the energy from a nuclear fusion. Imagine how the Sigma female and the Sigma male are always alone in their own corners, wondering if they have a soulmate somewhere out there. If that person is looking for them, where that person might be right now, what they might be doing, and also wondering whether or not that person is having weird thoughts like they are. Both Sigmas in their respective ends feel misunderstood on a daily basis because nobody seems to be making an effort to understand why they are the way they are. Instead of trying, people are quick to judge them and give them all sorts of names. And for the sake of appearing normal and less obvious, both have to morph or mask their true selves in order to fit in. They live in constant fear of never finding a soulmate due to peer pressure and pressure from parents. In their spare time, all they can think of is about their imaginary soulmate whom they are yet to meet. They will sit there for hours doing nothing other than mentally computing romantic events in their heads. They may go as far as planning the number of children they will have, what names they will give them, plan vacations and romantic dinner nights right up to the point where both go to bed and die together to spare each other the pain of living without the other. Then imagine these two people, the Sigma woman and the Sigma man, finally making their way into each other's arms and falling in love. This kind of romance will be nothing short of a fairy tale romance. So what happens next after they find each other? They will want to know everything about each other. When a Sigma woman meets a Sigma man she loves, she will want to know everything about him, where he is coming from, what he does for a living, his interest. She will go all weird on him with lots of questions and might go as far as asking whether he ever thought of this day. The more Sigma women know about someone or something, the more invested they become in it. And only the Sigma man can tolerate the excesses of the Sigma woman because he is exactly the same as they are. He has the same cravings like the Sigma woman and a million and one questions of his own to ask. Their first date night will be more like a question and answer session or a job interview. Sigmas born more through information. The more they know, the more interested they become. Asking questions allow them to mentally size each other in order to ascertain their level of intelligence, open-mindedness and how genuine they are depending on how much information they are willing to share. This weird couple will seek mental intimacy first before physical intimacy. If you can satisfy the Sigma's curiosity on the first date, be sure of a second one. They will tell each other their deepest secrets. They will let their guard down when they are around each other and let them in on their deepest secrets and vulnerabilities. If any Sigma should trust anyone with such information, know that they truly value and trust that person because it is not in the Sigma's nature to blab about their emotions and secrets. Sigmas in love have no secrets and nothing to hide. They will talk about their shady past if they have any and share their memories and deepest secrets. They do this because they both value trust and honesty in their relationships. They never take each other for granted. They will try their very best to understand each other's individual preferences, dislikes and likes. They will be each other's best friend and chief advisor. They will tell each other exactly how they feel and call them out on their shortcomings. And above all, they will be in constant fear of losing each other 